So I'm going to be real with you guys. We all like to save money. We all like to buy things on a budget. If there is a way we can get something, everything from your next holiday travel vacation all the way to electronics at a lower price than you originally thought, we're going to do so. Now, I like gaming smartphones, and about six months ago, I made the mistake of paying over $1,000 for the Asus ROG phone. Now, don't get me wrong. This is a fantastic device. It's provided me some of the best gaming experiences ever. However, it's so, so expensive. So what I decided to do for you guys who can't afford something like the Asus ROG phone is to research and find the best device that your money can buy. The best budget device in 2019 that's going to run PUBG Mobile perfectly. Welcome to the Nubia Red Magic Mars. This phone's even got the RGB back just like the Asus ROG phone. And this phone is everything the Asus ROG phone is, but at one third to one fourth the price. For $399, you can run all of the settings on PUBG Mobile to the absolute max with zero frame drop and the best gaming experience you could possibly have. Today's video is a full in-depth review on everything that this phone does right and why this phone is worth your money. So I hope you guys are excited. I greatly appreciate it. If you could leave a like down below, it takes just a couple of seconds, but it greatly helps out the channel. Subscribe for more PUBG Mobile content and let's jump into this. All right, guys. So here we are now playing PUBG Mobile on the Nubia Red Magic Mars. So I hope the video quality is okay. I do not have a very good setup to record hand cam gameplay, but I did want to show that for you guys in this video. This is what it looks like, mind you. That's very uncomfortable, very inconvenient for me, but I'm making it happen. You have to cut me some amount of slack because uh, with something as uncomfortable as this when recording, um, you know, I might end up making a couple of mistakes throughout my gameplay. But that doesn't matter because we want to see in this video whether or not this phone is worth your money. Should you spend $399 to get this phone or should you get something else? Maybe a used Razer phone, maybe anything else. Is this phone worth it? We're going to answer that in today's video. So first off, a lot of times in my last video, the video that I posted a couple of days ago, I claimed that this phone is basically everything the Asus ROG phone has, but at one third to one fourth the price. Now I stand by that statement. I'm not going to back down from that because I fully support that. This phone has all of the specs that the Asus ROG phone has with only a couple of small attachments left out. It's actually shocking that the Asus ROG phone has a price tag of $1,000 even now when this phone does the whole thing for like 2.5 times less the price. That's very, very impressive. Right at the very beginning, you guys can see I have all of my graphics settings turned on to the max. I have vivid colors, I have HDR, and my gameplay is seamless. It's the smoothest you could possibly get out of basically any device. This is comparable to a $1,500 phone, and it's working fantastic. I'm having no lag drops, no frame rates, issues. Everything is just perfectly smooth, and it's so nice to be able to play an intensive game like this where you don't have to worry about lag like that. You can turn all of your settings on to the max and not have to worry about either your device overheating, potentially having lag issues, even disconnection issues. Yes, disconnection issues are not a problem at all with this phone. For whatever reason, when I got the Asus ROG phone, it has a weird chipset to where it constantly disconnects me from my Wi-Fi. It's the only phone that I have that does that. I have five phones. That's the only one that does that. Every couple of minutes or so, I disconnect. You might have even seen that in some of my past PUBG Mobile videos. This phone doesn't do that. Throughout this entire footage that you are seeing right here, I recorded for about two hours straight, and not once did I have any disconnection issues. So it works much better on your average Wi-Fi routers. Now, if you guys wanted to see a full in-depth review on everything outside of PUBG Mobile about this phone, I have a 20 minute long review video going over everything internal and external down below in the description. You want to watch it because if you're seriously considering getting this phone, you're going to want to watch that review to see all of the pros and cons about it. And if you are going to rush out and buy this phone, wait, hold on, don't do it just yet, okay? 
Down below in the description, I have a 5% site-wide discount code that you can use towards your purchase. You're going to save dozens, if not, you know, probably like $30, $40 on buying this phone. So seriously, use that and it's going to save you some money. And that's site-wide. So if you didn't want to get this specific phone, you can do that with any other device. So with PUBG Mobile, this phone can have either 6 gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of internal storage, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of internal storage, or 10 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of internal storage. 10 gigabytes of RAM! That's a lot! Asus ROG phone doesn't do that, Razer phone doesn't do that, and those phones are like double if triple the price. This phone does it better than those phones, and it also has the, the Snapdragon 845 processor. Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 is still one of the best processors out there. I'd say it's probably the second or third best processor out in the market today. Whatever the most recent Apple one and the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 are paired to be number one. And then this one is going to be that number three position. So a very powerful processor. And I mean, it shows from the gameplay that you are seeing in this video. It shows because my gameplay is perfectly flawless. It's seamless, zero frame drops. Next up, this phone runs Android 9.0 Pi with a very small amount of bloatware that they add onto it just to make it more characteristic of Nubia and Red Magic. You can't have just a stock Android device because how is it going to make it any different from anything else? They want to have it a little bit characteristic towards Nubia, so they add a couple of things just to make it a more characteristic phone for their company. To talk about the externals of this phone, the most important thing is this phone has a dedicated slider button on the bottom left of the phone, as you can see on my screen right here, where that will basically slide your phone into gaming mode. When you slide that button, it's going to put you on a selection of your different games in this special Red Magic menu. And then you're going to have all of the background processes turned off. And then everything that that phone has is going to be put into processing that game. So you're going to have 100% power towards PUBG Mobile, and that's something that most phones will not do. You can turn off all notifications, so you don't have to worry about having 25 kills, two people left, and then having your mom calling you that dinner's ready and then you die outside the zone. You don't have to worry about that anymore. And then you can also have very unusual and cool looking RGB back customizations on your phone, just, just because it looks cool. I mean, because who doesn't want a phone that looks cool? I certainly do. Next up, if you were to look where the top left of my phone on my screen is, where my pointer buttons, or my pointer fingers, I should say, are, where my right pointer finger and left pointer fingers are, are dedicated shoulder buttons that are hidden underneath the phone itself that you can map to a certain place on your screen. The Asus ROG phone does this. You guys have seen that in my Asus ROG phone video review with PUBG Mobile. You can press those sides of your phone, have maybe one dedicated towards the aiming button, and then one dedicated towards the firing button, and then turn your phone essentially into a controller. I mean, that's really cool. You're not going to have your fingers covering the screen anymore. You're going to be able to see a lot better. And I mean, you're going to be a lot more accurate and consistent when you're using your phone like that. It does take time to get used to. I have not gotten used to it yet, and that's why I haven't used it in today's video, but from the times that I have used it, it's worked fantastic. Now this phone has a six inch display, a full 1080p display. You guys can see the display is very bright. Even me recording in a horribly lit room with a bright light over me, I really don't have much issue of the light shining on the screen. You can play outside in the middle of the Florida heat perfectly fine with this phone, and it will be actually brighter than most other phones out there. I have played with some of my friends who have phones like the Oppo Find X and even other iPhones and stuff like that, and all of their phones are actually darker than this phone. My Asus ROG phone's display is darker, and my Razer phone's display is darker. So definitely some things that you have to note about this phone. Now this phone has a fingerprint dis fingerprint reader, I should say, that is very, very quick, and it just feels super nice. And overall, since this phone is made out of metal, it just feels really nice in your hands. You feel like you're a lot more confident when you're using this phone. I don't know if this is just me, but you guys will probably see this after you start using the phone. I'm more confident when I'm using this phone as compared to other phones that I have. 
If I were to use my iPhone XS Max right now, I would feel a little bit uncomfortable. Seriously, that's honestly, I would just not feel that great. But with this phone, that changes everything. Now this phone also doesn't overheat, and I feel like that's one of the most important things about this phone. With a lot of phones, whenever I use them and I, you know, play very intense games like this, like PUBG Mobile, Fortnite Mobile, Rules of Survival, any of those types of battle royale games, I sweat a lot. And I know a lot of the people watching this video right now do as well. If your hands start sweating, maybe your phone's gonna slip from your hands, maybe the water droplets on your phone are going to end up glitching your character, and you're not going to do as well as somebody who has dry hands. That's why they always say, oh, you got sweaty fingers, dude. And then, you know, you have a bit of a problem. With this phone, you don't sweat at all. It does not overheat because it has three different types of cooling systems. First off, it has a, a water vapor cooling system that has, you know, water vapor inside of copper pipes on the sides of the phone which is fantastic. Secondly, it has four different air vents on the back of the phone where air will be directed out of those four different vents as opposed to two on the Asus ROG phone and none on something like the Razer phone. So you're not going to have to worry about this phone having a ton of heat building up inside of it. And then finally, since it's made out of metal, this phone is going to be able to dissipate as the company claims over 64% more heat than something like the iPhone, than something like the Asus ROG phone, or any of the other phones out there that you are using right now. This phone, seriously, does not run PUBG Mobile much better than perfect, okay? So, like, I absolutely love using this phone, and I honestly think that I'm actually going to probably switch over to this for my average, everyday PUBG Mobile videos. Because when I actually record my videos, a lot of times I don't use headphones just because I can't. Because for whatever reason, whenever I try to plug in headphones, it doesn't record with my specific screen recorder, the internal surround sound. DU recorder doesn't do that. I don't know why. But uh, the speakers are good enough on this phone to where you don't even really need a headphone jack and, and headphones at all in order to actually play this game. It's, it's DTS 7.1 surround sound where it's actually going to show you guys where the enemies are even without headphones on. So that's very, very impressive. And... Uh, yeah, that's basically it. Overall, I hope I covered most of the stuff that you needed to know about this phone. It looks fantastic. It runs fantastic. And from the video that you are can seeing, that you are can seeing, great. I have great grammar. That you guys can see right here, it's running flawlessly. I'm having a fantastic experience so far playing PUBG Mobile, and I can't wait to use it more often in my future videos coming out very soon. So I hope you all enjoyed. Again, check out the description down below for the link to that full review and my discount code for 5% off. Get yourself the Nubia Red Magic Mars. It's entirely worth the price. And subscribe to my channel down below for some more PUBG Mobile videos. I have a lot of different tips and tricks videos, tutorials, showing how different phones work on this game and so much more. You guys would like it, so be sure to do that. Turn on notifications, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys later.